We use coins. Dot com. Thank you. Oh yes, yes, sir, Mr. Bernard. Um, oh, no, no, it's Freeman. Here's the point. It's Freeman. What is I've your got a voter ID you? with Freeman on it. I'd appreciate uh, it if you call me by my name. I would like you to answer the question I just asked. I'd be happy to. I just want to know your name. Is it Dan? And I'm like, you can call me Mr. Goldfarger. I'm sorry? Why are you threatening? I've just got a video camera. You an object in your hand, and it's very threatening. The camera is threatening to you, Kay? Yes, I think it is. You just stepped up to me. Isn't that what you used to do? Annoying Free Keener is annoying. Well, maybe I'm annoying too sometimes, but... The fact is, it's very difficult to be in conflict without being annoying. Here are the phrases I have found to be useful in reducing my <laughs> annoying level when I'm in conflict with someone. Here's my favorite one. Are you with the press, sir? Am I required to talk to you? No, not necessarily. You mean to me? Am I required to answer your questions? Or at least a few variations on my favorite one. The other one I like is this one. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, just saying nothing. It's useful for any videographer. You just, you know, let the person in front of the camera do all the talking. Give them the rope with which to hang themselves. The worst example of violating this rule, it was sometimes I'm one of the worst examples, but the worst example I've ever seen was, I don't know if I can use it or not for copyright reasons, but there's that famous shot of the apparent nuclear explosion in Syria. I mean, some people are saying it's a nuclear explosion. It seemed to have a mushroom cloud. Well, the the videographer, or maybe someone standing right next to the videographer, I mean, there's a lot of interesting things to hear, a lot of, you know, sound and explosions and people talking and stuff like that. But you can't really hear any of it because the the videographer or somebody next to him, every, you know, 15 times every 15 seconds, he's saying, Allahu Akbar. Now, I mean, that's one of the more powerful statements in the world, I think, even as a non-Muslim. But if you say it every second, it loses its power. If you're constantly talking, your words lose their power. Here's an example of me kind of getting it wrong. Please do not arrest my friend. Too much talking. The other thing is it's really important, if possible, not to talk loudly, to keep your voice down, especially if you're the run one running the camera. It's going to pick up even the quiet things you say because it's so close to you. If you speak, if you speak softly and relatively slowly, your demeanor will win the day as people watch the video. Demeanor trumps morality in modern American thinking and public opinion. Here's me kind of getting it right. At the public meeting, though. What should I do differently? Meeting. At the public meeting is where you want to ask a question. Ask questions at the public meeting. I can't ask a question now? Nope. You're standing right in front of me. Sir, we talk at the public meetings. You can talk here too. Nope. <laughs> Having your tongue up in your cheek helps. Being amused is better than being angry. Understating your grievances is way better than overstating them. It may even be better than fully stating them. For example, I like the, the phrase, uh, you know, I have some concerns, or... There are some concerns regarding your fill-in-the-blank. Questions are better than statements. And specificity is better than generality. Think about what you guys are doing to people. For instance, Pete Air hits on most cylinders. Uh, from He's from Cop Block. Cop Block gets a lot of attention. He's got a very gentle demeanor. He does do the ambush interviews, which most people just don't get around to. But it sometimes seems like his line of questioning is either too general or too hyperbolic or, strangely enough, too friendly. Yeah, if you ever, if you ever want to have a conversation sometime... I'm not interested. I, I just know. Sure, you want to have some general things off the shelf ready to ask, but when you're going to have a confrontation with a cop or some other bad guy, you probably know you're going to have it. You probably know which organization it's going to be before you get there. It's good to think up some kind of halfway specific question before you're there, whether you're running a camera or not. Can I ask why? No, nope. I mean, we just I'm all met. Set. You, don't, you don't know. No, I, I, I know what your, what your game is, so I'm all set with that. Thank you, though. What is my... In this, in this uh, quasi confrontation or whatever, you know, attempted dialogue, it would have been, Pete, Pete would have been in a much more powerful position. Instead of, you know, if instead of begging the chief for 
you know, a dialogue, it would have been better to say something like, Chief Miola, do you have any sense now of what the exact figures are in terms of how much Keen has spent on this supposedly free bear cat? You know, and of course, now there again, I'm making a mistake in that question, too, in that I'm, 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 I'm kind of being a, that question is probably a little bit too confrontational. It would be better if I said, uh, well, I guess if I left out the hyperbole at the end, you know, do you have a sense of uh, how much, uh, you know, ha- keen taxpayers have spent on this uh, bear cat after it was handed to them by the feds? That's probably about the best I'd be able to spew out, you know, on short notice. You know, you, you only have seconds oftentimes to think of what you're going to say to someone because they might just pop up out of nowhere and walk past you. Of course, the worst questioning session of a bureaucrat or politician is generally the one that doesn't happen. Unfortunately, most people go to meetings like this and just sit there waiting for their chance to sit in the official seat. They use the means the state has provided them for opposing it. The fact is, the right questions, the right words, outside the meetings, before the meetings, after the meetings, or pretty much any time outside the meetings, captured on camera, will get you a lot further. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistance. They return you some control over your money and a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal, you can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes and almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins, so can you. Get started at weusecoins.com.